The madness begins in the world of college basketball. The best teams in the country have their spots locked in, but the ones on the bubble are making their final push now. Joining us to preview Selection Sunday is Brian Bennett. He is a senior editor covering college basketball for The Athletic. Good to have you with us. Let's go ahead and start with the men's tournament. Who are your top four seeds? Do you have a dark horse that you're watching? Well, Purdue, Houston, and Connecticut, you can write that in permanent ink. They're going to be three of the one seeds. Tennessee lost earlier today in the SEC tournament, looked pretty bad doing it. So I think that opens the door for North Carolina to take that last number one seed. But if they're playing tonight against Pittsburgh, and if they lose that game, then Arizona out in the Pac-12 would have a shot if it wins the Pac-12 tournament. All right. Well, talk to us about which conference tournament has the most on the line ahead of Selection Sunday. Yeah, there's a lot of great games left, but you know, in terms of stakes, I'd probably say go back to the ACC. We mentioned North Carolina needing to, to win to get that one seed. There's also two teams in the semifinals in Pittsburgh and NC State that if they don't win the ACC tournament, they're probably not going to the NCAA tournament. And then the other semifinalist there is Virginia. Uh, Virginia's on the bubble, probably will get in, but I've got them in the first four right now. If they were to lose tonight to NC State, there's a chance they could miss the tournament. All right, let's shift now to talk women's ball. This year, Women's March Madness actually might be the most hyped it has ever been. Last year, there was so much firepower. Uh, hoping you can tell us about some of the stars in this year's tournament. And I should probably forewarn our viewers that I'm going to be prepared to shout out Go Hawks at any moment whenever you <laughs> mention Caitlin Clark. Yeah, there's really no question. The women's game is getting more attention than the men's game right now, and it's because of that star power. You know, Caitlin Clark, she's a, a phenomenon. She's really the Steph Curry of the women's game. And you've also got Juju Watkins at USC, Angel Reese at LSU. You've got the LSU, South Carolina, Iowa rivalry triangle. Uh, just a lot of really exciting stuff. And, you know, there's outstanding players in the men's game as well, including Zach Eady at Purdue, who, who's soon to be the two-time national player of the year. But fans aren't lining up around the block or paying thousands of dollars uh, for tickets just to have a chance to see Edie the way they are at Caitlin Clark. So I think this could be a record for TV ratings and attention for the women's tournament this year. And it's very exciting. Go Hawks. All right, Brian Bennett, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.